Um, I'm trying to think of how I can answer this without getting a job. <laughs> In the book, you mention um, the lost luggage, which was fascinating to me. Um, did they give you guys clothes and makeup or what, what did you, how did that end when you had no luggage for two days? Um, no, so we, <laughs> the funny part is, is that we, um, we were just in our same clothes for like two days. So it was funny because when Peter showed up and we were doing some filming, we all smelled so bad <laughs> and like we did, we were not cute. I mean, you know, we got some things together and thankfully like we were able to, I mean, people went to the store and we got some, some soaps that we were taken care of for sure. <laughs> but we didn't have like our clothes and like our own like makeup and things like that because our luggage got lost. So it was it was a wild two days in the middle of the rainforest in Costa Rica. <laughs> um, speaking of clothes, you mentioned, you know, you're a sneaker girl, you wore sneakers on the show for rose ceremonies and stuff, which I think is fun. Did the producers or anyone ever try to pressure you to wear heels or anything? Or do they let you guys totally get dressed however you want? No, there's like, there's no pressure. You're totally, you get to w do whatever you want to do. Um, you get to wear whatever you want to wear. I wore sneakers the very first night and I'm very glad that I made that move because it was a long night. So I'm glad that I chose the sneaker route. Um, everyone, all the girls were jealous. They were like, dang it, we should have, we should have done that. We should have made that call. I was like, yeah, I, I was smart in this moment. Any um, packing fashion or beauty regrets after, you know, it's hard to feel the pressure and then watch yourself back on television on, you know, anything you chose to wear or makeup or silly stuff like that. Honestly, I was so proud of myself. I feel like my jumpsuit game was a 10 out of 10 for the rose ceremonies. And I got labeled as like the jumpsuit girl, which I was so down for because I love a good jumpsuit moment. So I loved uh, all, of my, all of my cocktail and rose ceremony moments. I will say I did run out of clothes. Thankfully, we had some, you know, time to grab a couple of things along the way as we were traveling, but I did run out of clothes. <laughs> um, of course, you don't know how long you're gonna be there. And so, you know, you just pack and hope that you have enough clothes while you're there. Yeah, but, sure. um, but yeah, I did run out and thankfully got some along the way. But other than that, no, I mean, I think it was, uh, I think it was a, a good, a good little time, packed a lot of Lululemon, had a lot of lounging around, <laughs> and then my jumpsuits. My jumpsuits are my, are my favorite part. I love that. Um, in the book, you also mention a, an unaired moment about eating a fish heart with Peter. Um, were there any other moments or things that come to mind that you wish with Peter or with the girls that was shown? Um, I'm trying to think of how I can answer this without getting in trouble. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I think that for me, I can genuinely say, because people actually ask me all the time, like, do you feel like, you know, you were aired in, in your truest way and in a fair way? And I can honestly say yes. Like, I do feel like, you know, my personality, my heart was shown. I will say there is a part of my personality that a lot of people didn't like fully get to see. And maybe I just didn't let it out enough because it's, it's so funny. Everyone, when they meet me, they think that I'm, one, they, they think I'm taller than I am. So when they meet me, I always get told, you're way shorter in person than I thought. And then two, the um, people, I know, I'm like, what? And then two people always tell me uh, they thought I would be like shy and more quiet and just like a sweet little girl from Alabama. And I am loud, I'm outgoing, I'm passionate, I'm competitive. And I feel like a lot of people didn't get to see that side of me as much which is totally fine. And, but other than that, I, I honestly feel like I, oh, everyone got to like really see my heart and really got to see, you know, what I'm about. And, uh, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, as far as other moments, I feel like for the most part, you know, everything was, you know, there, I mean, there was a good bit. I was like off of like three episodes because I, I went on the very first one-on-one -on -one and then I wasn't on like the next couple of dates. So I was like straight chilling for a few weeks. But um, yeah, I feel like for the most part, everything was everything was good with that. Um, you also mentioned group dates, getting a little competitive, you know, playing football and all that. So last one, do you have any regrets about getting competitive on group dates or any group date regrets at all? No, because I'm like, again, I was nothing but myself that entire experience. Um, I mean, I try to be like that in everything that I do with my life, but I was fully me. 
I didn't change myself for anything or anyone. And that is something that, you know, I want to help a lot of, because I know a lot of people do feel that need and that pressure to change themselves for someone or for something to be loved, to be accepted, to fit in. And that's what I really want to encourage so many people is actually like, no, you were created the way that you are for a reason. And that's beautiful. And you should embrace that fully, no matter what environment you're in, no matter what pressures you feel. And so I can honestly say throughout that entire Bachelor experience, I was 100% myself. When the competitive moments came out, they came out. You know, when my very bold moments and courageous moments and me vocalizing things came out, they came out. In the moments where I bit my tongue and I held back, you know, like I was just fully myself, really just being led by peace, but also just staying true to who I am throughout that entire experience. So I, I don't have any regrets with any of that.